Hello there guys, this is Renz and today I'm gonna show you how to enable DNS over HTTPS or on OpenWRT. So, what is DNS over HTTPS then? Basically, it, ano, it transfers our DNS queries or domain name server queries through HTTPS protocol. We have another method for this one called DNS over TLS or DOT for short. But for now, I'll teach you how to enable DNS over HTTPS on OpenWRT. So, before we start things first, so we have to check if our current setup does support the DNS over HTTPS. So, we go to Cloudflare site, cloudflare.com slash SSL slash encrypted SNI. So, check my browser. So, secure DNS. You may not be using secure DNS. So, this is not sure. But I am sure that we're not on DNS over HTTPS. So, we run this again. And for sure, it should fail because I see this na nag fail. Yep, that, that, that. So, we'll try to fix this. Now, about this encrypted SNI part then. This is uh, no, for the browser part. But, I'll teach you how to enable this on Google Chrome as well because this on Firefox is enabled by default. So, so first of all, we have we need a router that supports OpenWRT. Lucky for me, I have I have a Ne Wi-Fi 3D2 router from and that does support OpenWRT. So, let's go here. Now, this is the Wi-Fi D2. Okay, this is my router running OpenWRT 18.06. So, we can actually set this set ano, set this thing up through through ano, through GUI, through here system software. But to speed things up, we'll do the installation part through SSH. So, we go to party then, party. So, Okay, we log in as root as usual with our password. So now, first of all, we need to run OPKG update to update our repo on this router. So OPKG update then. And we wait a bit. Okay, once this is done, we go OPKG install stubby stubby and now it's done so it failed on this part so it requires a dependency called CA certificates but I know this requires another one called CA bundle so to fix that we we, inst we just simply install those dependencies so opkg install CA certificates Now, we got it installed. We also need another one called CA, CA Bundle. So, we install this too. Then, now, now all of, both of them installed, we run the command OPKG install stubby again. And now, it should proceed without any problems. Yeah, that's installed. We go back to our GUI, so we refresh this. Then we need to check if Stubby is actually installed. So we go to System Startup, and we go check there if Stubby is there. Hey, it's here. So what we'll need to do next is we go to Network Interfaces. Then we need to configure both our WAN, especially if we use WAN six, but even though we don't use 1v6 or IPv6 on our case, we'll still configure this. So we we'll go for one because because this is IPv4, one advanced settings. We need to uncheck this. Use DNS servers advertised by peer. So uncheck this and DNS custom servers. For so for this part, we need to get rid everything 
then you then type in 127.0.0.1 yes that 127.0.0.1 because that's localhost now we need to save this save save lang wag save and apply we'll do this later so 16 now we do the same with 16 except we go to advanced and check then here custom dns servers we type in zero colon colon one instead so save now we hit save and we hit save and apply here uh, this time now after that's done we go to network dhcp and dns then resolve and host files we just simply check this then save and apply so now that's done we go to general settings actually we're already here general settings after applying that now we go to serve dns forwardings and we simply add to the list 127.0.0.1 hashtag 5453 and the same but this is for ipv4 na above and we do the same but ipv6 so 0 colon colon 1 hashtag 5453 so so we go save and apply and now that's done we go to system start up then we look for DNS mask we need to restart that service so restart hopefully we still get internet after this so now to confirm if we have internet we just use command prompt and ping okay we still have internet that's nice now to check run this test again and we should have a check mark here secure DNS nice that's fixed okay now we have DNS over HTTPS enabled on our OpenWRT setup so regarding now actually we're already done for this part so uh, regarding this encrypted SNI if you have Firefox this is already enabled by default but if you have Chrome and possibly Edge 2 we need to go to our flag settings flags then we enable we search for secure dns lookup so enable this but i heard some use na this is still unstable at the moment so enable it on on your discretion so for now we'll leave this but at least we have dns over https or no! so that's all for now and thanks for watching i hope you like this video and take care everyone. Bye-bye.